Thank you, thank you, thank you for the new day. Thank you for the wonderful year. Thank you for our good health. Thank you for the air. Thank you for the food. Make it strong walking right off the top. Nice, everybody. And walk, walk, here's your pace. Walk, 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 walk. I love a 10 minute shot of speed. You're in it. Come on. Four and three, we'll go right to sidestep now. Let's go, sidestep, good. Again, always get the feet though working before you add that intensity. So once I know my feet are okay, I'm confident with the move, then I sit into it because I want my thigh muscles to fire up. I want the back end, the hips to get involved. Out together, out together, out together, out together. There's eight, there's seven, there's six, there's five, good, four, and three. Walking, walking, walking now, go. It's still power walk, guys. Pump arms. Good, kicks are coming. Let's go, four, three, two. Now kick, again, start them out, then build them up. But what I like to do here is remind myself how important posture is. Or really, it's walking in your core. Because if you're stable in the middle, your legs can go with power. So, tummy tuck, everybody. Bring belly button toward the spine. You're stable, and now go, legs. Give them a big kick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You walk, 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 yeah. Always back to that walking. Feels so good. Knee lifts are coming. Give me four more. Here's four and three and two. Now a knee lift. Come on, make it big. Just go right off the bat. Pull that knee high. Hands around to the hips. And you know what happens. It just starts to talk to the waistline. Pull that leg up. Knee, knee, knee. Hands to the hips, hips. Good job. Here's eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, walk, 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 walk. Good. A good and a power walk. <laughs> ah we giggle when we hear Nick say, woo. <laughs> That's good, Nick. <laughs> and go, go, go. Tap out is coming, everybody. Give me four and three and two. Now stretch the leg out, stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. <sighs> Tap. Sit into the movement. Again, you bring more thigh muscle to it when you sit down into it. And we're gonna follow the feet. There we go, here we go. Follow the feet, that's all you have to do. Extend the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Walk, 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 we're walking now. Power walk, go. Nice, side steps are coming back. We'll go singles first, and then we'll build them up. Four. Three, two, a single side step. Get the feet working. All right, come on, add intensity, sit down. Open, close arms, here we go. Open, close, open, close. Come on. Tommy, tuck, I still want you to feel that good core stability. And that'll set those arms and legs up for power when that middle is strong. Four, three. All right, guys, go double, go two. Over two, good, and come on back. Go ahead, keep arms going, out together, out together. Come on, big step, big step, big step. Excellent lateral motion. Come on now, good for your balance. These are muscles that aren't used a lot because walking, we don't walk sideways, right? We don't use these muscles a lot, so now let's get them trained. Last time, guys. We want to work the body as a whole. You need to go forward and back and right and left. Functional fitness, that's what it is. So you can move around strong in your day. That's what fitness helps us to do. Walk, 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 walk. It's a power walk, guys. Upper body, we're just gonna reach to the beat. Ready? It's like 
this guy's reach and reach and reach. Tummy tuck. You can feel it when the hands go above the head. The core fires. You can feel the muscle activity. Even without any movement, that's what's so great. Listen, there's a lot that's happening. Those muscles are in action, and these are basic movements. Four and three and two. Walk, 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 arms down. Yeah, nice. Good. Kickbacks, everybody. <laughs> Good job. Good sweat. Sweat's coming. Sweat's coming on Nikki. Yay. I love that. <laughs> Four more, here's four, here's three, here's two. Uh, it's a kickback here, so all you do, hamstring curl, guys. Hamstring just initiates that movement, gets the back of the thigh involved. Hey guys, just one arm at a time. Go here and here, go here and here and here and here. That's it, just here and here, here and here. Nice. Man. Four, three, two, walk, good, walk, walk, nice. Little bit of movement, two up and two back. Come on, keep that power pace. You feel that purpose to this pace? This is the speed that burns a lot of calories. This is the speed that burns stored fat. Come on, you gotta move to the pace, just walk to the beat. Two up, two back, here it comes, we move. And back, and move, yes. Nice, all muscles in motion. Very nice, come on, go. And back. A body in motion is a healthy body, a healthy mind, a healthy soul. Everything. Your life is better when you move. That's how easy we can say it. Okay, again, we go up and back. And guys, walk in place right here. Good job. Tap out coming. Come on, just keep the beat. Keep the pace. So my top 10 list, oh my goodness, top 10 for a healthy life. Number nine, four, three. We're going to tap out first and then I'll give it to you. <laughs> Are you thinking, oh, what is it? This big mystery. I love it. Come on, legs, stay strong, go legs. And just follow, follow. Well, guess what it is? It's don't out eat walking, your fitness walking. So what I wanna tell you is please, portions count for healthy life. Watch those portions, they do matter. But I want you to eat good and feel good. We can't eat like, you know, birds. You gotta eat like real human beings. And two more guys, walk, 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 walk. But be mindful, portions matter. Very good. You Keep that for a lifetime. It'll serve you well. Keep walking, keep walking. March, march, march. Pick up those feet. An indoor walk is just like a march. Keeps that blood flowing. Four more before the kicks. Four and three and two. Now you gotta kick here, guys. Kick and kick. You build it up. Build it up. Tight tummy and reach for your feet. Let's go. Reach and reach and reach and reach. Every time you kick, tummy tuck. Come on, get all the muscles involved. When you think about what you're doing, you get much more out of it. Put your mind to the muscle and the workout is better. I know sometimes you wanna like do your grocery list. I know, I know, I do it. But stay with us, stay with us. Think of that tummy. Okay, walk, walk, walk guys, walk. Nice, upper body, just to the beat. We reach now, we reach, and reach, and reach, and reach. A tight tummy, reach, walk strong. Come on, real strong, nice. Arms down, power walk, two up, two back. Tina, <laughs> I think I might come back with you, sweetie. Ready, two up, let's go, one, and two, and back, and two, one, and two, back, and two. One and two. It might be fun back there, Lisa Marie. I don't know, I hear Nick back there giggling. Tina's giggling. I don't know. What are we gonna do, front row? Yeah. Nikki, what are we gonna do? That back row's having fun. And two, back, two, up, and two. How fast it goes. Almost done, almost there. Stay with me. Up, 
and back and up. Nice and yes, yes, yes. That was your 10 minute walk. You want to jump into a cool down or ready for the next segment that I need you to keep moving, okay? Thanks to our legs, thanks to our arms, and thanks to this group. I was, I couldn't get up. But because of the feeling that I have to run this group, I woke up. Thank you, thank you to the group. Deep inhale and exhale. One more time. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Hey Prabhu, hey Ishwar, hey Parampita. आज की सुबह के लिए धन्यवाद 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 मैं बेहद कृतज्ञ हूं ईश्वर मैं आज की सुबह जीवित हूं मैंने आज आंखें खोली हैं मैंने इस जीवन को देखा है सचमुच मेरे जीवन में एक और जादू भरी सुबह देने के लिए धन्यवाद 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 हे प्रभु हे ईश्वर हे परमपिता मैं बेहद कृतज्ञ हूं मुझे यह जादू भरी सुबह एक और दिन एक नया दिन सौगात के रूप में आपने दिया है मैं सचमुच कृतज्ञ हूं मेरे माता और पिता की जिन्होंने मुझे जन्म दिया पाल पोस कर बड़ा किया मेरे माता और पिता को प्रणाम दिल की गहराइयों से मेरे माता और पिता को धन्यवाद 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 मैं बेहद कृतज्ञ हूं समुचे ब्रह्मांड की धरती मां की आकाश पिता की जल देव अग्नि देव और वायु देव की क्योंकि उन्होंने मेरे शरीर का निर्माण किया है मुझे सचमुच एक स्वस्थ सभी अंगों से परिपूर्ण शरीर दिया है हे संपूर्ण ब्रह्मांड मेरे शरीर के उपहार के लिए मेरे प्रत्येक अंग के उपहार के लिए धन्यवाद 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 हे संपूर्ण ब्रह्मा मैं मैं दिल से कृतज्ञ हूं आपने मुझे शरीर के साथ स्वास्थ्य का भी उपहार दिया है यह स्वास्थ्य का उपहार जो हर पल मुझे जीवित रखता है मेरे स्वास्थ्य के उपहार के लिए धन्यवाद 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 हे संपूर्ण ब्रह्मांड मैं सच में कृतज्ञ हूं आपने मेरे जीवन जीने की सारी व्यवस्थाएं इस ब्रह्मांड में मेरे आने से पहले ही कर दी पर्याप्त मात्रा में भोजन पानी और जाने किन किन सुविधाओं को आपने सौगात के रूप में मेरे लिए पहले से बना दिया मेरी हर आवश्यकता को पूर्ति करने के लिए धरती माँ को आकाश पिता को जल देव अग्नि देव वायु देव को दिल की गहराइयों से धन्यवाद 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 सचमुच धन्यवाद धन्यवाद 
हे प्रभु हे परमपिता हे मेरे मालिक यह शरीर और आत्मा आपकी दी हुई है आप इसके मालिक हैं फिर भी इस शरीर से और इस आत्मा से जाने कितने ही कार्य मैंने किए हैं हे प्रभु हे परमपिता आपने मुझे कई सारी अनुपम सौगातें दी सबका धन्यवाद 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 हे ईश्वर हे मेरे मालिक आपने मुझे इतनी सारी सुख सुविधाओं के अलावा एक और सुविधा दी जिससे मैं जो भी जरूरत चाहूं उसे पूरा कर लेती हूं वो है धन का उपहार सचमुच मुझे अब तक जो भी धन दिया गया उस धन के उपहार के लिए धन्यवाद 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 हे करुणा निधान हे मेरे मालिक आपने मेरे जीवन में प्रेम भरने के लिए मुझे प्यार करने और प्यार कराने के लिए रिश्ते नाते और परिवार दिए हैं सचमुच प्रभु मुझे यह परिवार देने के लिए मुझे मित्र साथी सखा देने के लिए आपको दिल से धन्यवाद 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 मैं बहुत बहुत कृतज्ञ हूँ भगवान हे मेरे मालिक हे करुणा निधान आप बेहद दयालु हैं मैंने इस शरीर और आत्मा से कई अपराध किए हैं फिर भी आपने मुझे अपना कहने और अपने बनाने वाले लोगों को साथ दिया इस जीवन में मुझे कई लोगों का साथ दिया जाने अनजाने मैं उन्हें अपनी कृतज्ञता अपना धन्यवाद भी नहीं लौटा पाता फिर भी सतत रूप से वो मेरे लिए कार्यशील हे मेरे मालिक मुझे जीवन में इतने लोगों का साथ देने के लिए अपने लोग देने के लिए अपना परिवार देने के लिए आपको धन्यवाद धन्यवाद मेरे पास सच में परिवार है रिश्ते हैं नाते हैं मेरे दोस्त सखा हैं हे प्रभु मैं सचमुच कृतज्ञ हूँ मैं बेहद खुश हूँ कि मैं और मेरे सभी साथी 21 दिनों से ज्यादा तक इस कृतज्ञता के सुमार्ग पर चलते जा रहे हैं हम अपने जीवन को और बेहतर बनाने की कोशिश करते जा रहे हैं और इसी से हम यह समझ पाए हैं कि यह जीवन हमारे लिए कितना महत्वपूर्ण है इस प्यारे जीवन के लिए और इस जीवन में कृतज्ञता के मार्ग को हमें दिखाने के लिए आपको धन्यवाद धन्यवाद हे करुणा निधान हे मेरे मालिक मैं और मेरे सभी साथी इसी तरह कृतज्ञता के मार्ग पर चलते रहें हमेशा रोशन रहें ये जीवन जो आपने खुश रहने और आनंद करने के लिए दिया है ये सुख सुविधा सौगात जो आपने हमें आनंद के लिए दी है इसका लाभ उठाते रहें प्यार से भरे रहें प्यार से परिपूर्ण रहें और प्रेम ही फैलाते रहें हम जहां भी जाएं वहां बेहद खुश रहें और खुशियां बिखेरते रहें यही मेरी मेरे लिए और मेरे सभी साथियों के लिए प्रार्थना है हम सभी के सुमार्ग पर चलने के कृतज्ञता के मार्ग पर चलने के बेहतरीन परिणाम के लिए धन्यवाद 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू जी जी टुगेदर अपने हाथों को रब करें दोनों हाथों से आंखों को ढक लें बंद आंखों से सफेद प्रकाश को देखें फील द वाइट लाइट धीरे धीरे खुद को आशीर्वाद दें दोनों हाथों को सर पे ले जाएं और बोले मैं सचमुच सर्वशक्तिमान हूँ मैं सचमुच सर्वशक्तिमान हूँ मैं असीम शक्तियों से परिपूर्ण सर्वशक्तिमान हूँ धन्यवाद धन्यवाद दोनों हाथों को सामने रखते हुए खोले और उस परम पिता का नाम लेते हुए कहें हे प्यारे प्रभु आपने मेरी रचना की सचमुच मुझे इतना प्यारा बनाने के लिए आपको धन्यवाद 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 
हे मेरे मालिक हे करुणा निधान हे परमपिता मेरे जैसा कोई दूजा आपने ना रचा मुझे इतना अद्भुत बनाने के लिए मुझे मेरी इतनी अनुपम रचना करने के लिए आपको शुक्रिया 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 यस आई एम इनविंसिबल आई एम एन इनविंसिबल आई एम एन इनविंसिबल थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू जेर न्यूवर्स यस आई एम द बेस्ट यस थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर द डे थैंक यू फॉर टूडे इज ब्यूटिफुल डे थैंक यू फॉर द बेस्ट डे Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, dear universe. I'm cash rich. I'm beautiful. I'm strong. I can do everything. I'm really fulfilled with happiness. I am fulfilled with love. Thank you, thank you so much, everyone, to join the session. Let's start a beautiful day with a beautiful chapter. हाँ जी अपने अपने चेहरे ऑन कर दीजिए दिखा दीजिए हैप्पी मॉर्निंग डिफाइन मॉर्निंग हेल्दी मॉर्निंग कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन मॉर्निंग सब कुछ सब कुछ बहुत बहुत अच्छा हो रहा है हमारी जिंदगी में जैसा भी चल रहा है बहुत ही अच्छा चल रहा है और हम बहुत आगे की ओर जा रहे हैं कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन रियली टू एवरी वन की हम लोग आगे 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 बढ़ते जा रहे हैं कोई कुछ शेयर करना चाहता है तो बता दीजिए और हम शुरू करते हैं इक्कीसवा दिन We are on twenty ninth day. <sighs> so, anybody would like to share something? so some portion of the magic book was left so gitali over to you yes sir thank you sir the universe and you there is a level that you can reach with gratitude that causes unlimited abundance in your life the way that this level of gratitude is reached is through your relationship with the universe or if you prefer spirit or god you can tend to think of the universe as separate from you and when you think of it look up above your look up above yourself and toward the sky while the universe most certainly is above you it is also below you and behind you and beside you and it is within every single thing and every single person that means the universe is within you as below so above and as above so below with this knowledge alone you may work miracles the imaran tablet when you understand that the universe is within you and by its very nature it is for you wanting you to have more life more health more love more beauty and more of everything you want then you will feel 
genuine gratitude to the universe for everything you receive in your life. And you will have established a personal relationship between you and the universe. The more genuine gratitude you feel toward the universe for everything you receive, the closer your relationship becomes with the universe and that is when you can reach the level of unlimited and abundance from the magic of gratitude. You will have opened your heart and mind completely to the magic of gratitude and with it you will touch the lives of everyone you come into contact with. You will become a friend of the universe. You will become a channel for unlimited blessings on earth. When you get up close and personal with the universe, when you feel the closeness of the universe within you, from that moment on, the world will belong to you and there will be nothing that you can't be, have or do. Next page, sir. Gratitude is the answer. Gratitude is the cure for broken or difficult relationships, for lack of health or money, and for happiness. Gratitude eliminates fear, worry, grief, and depression, and brings happiness, clarity, patience, kindness, compassion, understanding, and peace of mind. Gratitude brings solutions to problems and the opportunities and where we will to realize your dreams. Gratitude is behind every success and it opens the door to new ideas and discoveries. As the great scientists Newton and Einstein proved, imagine if every scientist followed in their footsteps, the world would be propelled into new territories of understanding, growth, and advancement. Current limits would be broken and life-altering discoveries would be made in technology, physics, medicine, psychology, astronomy, and every scientific field. If gratitude became a mandatory subject in schools, we would see a generation of children who would advance our civilization through spectacular accomplishments and discoveries. Obli obliterating disagreements, ending wars, and bringing peace to the world. The nations who will lead the world in the future are the ones whose leaders and people are the most grateful. The gratitude of a nation's people would cause their country to thrive and become rich, would cause illnesses and disease to drastically drop businesses, and production to escalate and happiness and peace to sweep the nation. Poverty would disappear and there would not be a single next place, sir. And there would not be a single person in hunger because a grateful nation could never allow it to exist. The more people who discover gratitude's magical power, the faster it will sweep the world and cause a gratitude revolution. Next please, sir. <clears throat> Take the magic with you. Take gratitude with you wherever you go. Saturate the magic of gratitude into your patience, encounters, actions, and life situations to make all your dreams come true. In the future, if life presents you with a challenging situation that you think you have no control over and you are at a loss as to what to do, instead of worry or fear, turn to the magic of gratitude and be grateful for everything else in your life. When you deliberately thank the goodness in your life, the circumstances around the challenging situation will magically change. We showed him the way, whether he be grateful or ungrateful. Quran. Say the magic words, thank you. Say them out loud. Shout them for, from the rooftops. Whisper them to yourself. 
say them in your mind or feel them in your heart. But wherever you go from this day forward, take gratitude and its magical power with you to have a magical life filled with abundance and happiness. The answer is on your lips. It is inside your heart and it is ready and waiting for you to bring forth the magic. Rhonda Baron. Thank you, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. The secret. The secret has been passed down through the ages. Coveted, hidden, lost, stolen, bought for vast sums of money and known by some of the some of the most exceptional people who ever lived. Plato, Galileo, Da Vinci, Beethoven, Edison, and Einstein to name but a few. The secret book reveals how you can change every aspect of your life. You can turn any weakness or suffering into strength, power, unlimited abundance, health, and joy. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible. There are no limits. Whatever you can dream of can be yours when you see the secret. Read on for a preview. The secret reveal. The secret gives you philosopher author and personal course. The secret gives you anything you want. Happiness, health, and wealth. Dr. Zoe Vital. Yes. This is the earlier was by the Bob Proctor. And now yes. Dr. Zoe Vital, metaphysician, marketing specialist, and author. You can have to, you can have do or be anything you want. John Asaroff, entrepreneur and money-making expert. We can have whatever it is that we choose. I don't care how big it is. What kind of a house do you want to live in? Do you want to be a millionaire? What kind of a business do you want to have? Do you want more success? What do you really want? Dr. John DiMartini, philosopher, chiropractor, healer, and personal transformation specialist. This is the great secret, secret of life. Dr. Dennis Waitley, psychologist and trainer in the field of mind potential. The leaders in the past who had the secret wanted to keep the power and not share the power. They kept people ignorant of the secret. People went to work. They did their job. They come home. They were on a treadmill with no power because the secret was kept in the few. Throughout history, there have been many who coveted the knowledge of the secret. And there have been many who found a way of spreading this knowledge to the world. Michael Barnard Beckwith, visionary and founder of Agape International Spiritual Center. I have seen many miracles take place in people's lives, financial miracles, miracles of physical healing, mental healing, healing of relationships. Jack Canfield, author, teacher, life coach, and motivational speaker. All of this happened because of knowing how to apply the secret. What is the secret? Bob Proctor. You have probably been sitting there wondering, what is the secret? I will tell you how I have come to understand it. 
we all work with one infinite power. We all guide ourselves by exactly the same laws. The natural laws of the universe are so precise that we don't even have any difficulty building spaceships. We can send people to the moon and we can time the landing with the precision of a fraction of a second. Wherever you are, India, Australia, New Zealand, Stockholm, London, Toronto, Montreal, or New York, you were all working with one power, one law, it's attraction. The secret is the law of attraction. Everything that's coming into your life, you are attracting into your life. And it's attracted to you by virtue of the images you are holding in your mind. It's what you are thinking. Whatever is going on in your mind, you are attracting to you. Every thought of yours is a real thing, a force. Prentice Mulfold. The greatest teachers who have ever lived have told us that the law of attraction is the most powerful law in the universe. Poets such as William Shakespeare, Robert Browning, and William Blake delivered it in their poetry. Musicians such as Loading, Ludwig van Beethoven express it through their music. Next page, sir. Artists such as Leonardo da Vinci depicted it in their paintings. Great thinkers, including Socrates, Plato, Ralph Waldo, Emerson, Pythagoras, Sir Francis Bacon, Sir Isaac Newton, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, and Victor Hugo Seard it in their writings and teachings. Their names have been immortalized and their legendary existence has survived centuries. Religions such as Hinduism, Hermetic traditions, Buddhism, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam and civilizations such as the ancient Babylonians and Egyptians delivered it through their writings and stories. Recorded throughout the ages in all its forms and, uh, and the law can be found in ancient writings through all the centuries. It was recorded in stone in 3000 BC. Even though, even through some coveted this knowledge and indeed they did, it has always been there for anyone to discover. The law began at the beginning of time. It has always been and will always be. It is the law that determines the complete order in the universe. Every moment of your life, and every single thing you experience in your life. It doesn't matter who you are or where are you, where you are. The law of attraction is forming your entire life experience. And this all powerful law is doing that through your thoughts. You are the one who calls the law of attraction into action and you do it through your thoughts. In 1912, Charles Hanel described the law of attraction as the greatest and the most infallible law upon which the entire system of creation depends. Wise people have always known this. You can go right back to the ancient Babylonians. They have always known it, this. It's a small select group of people. The ancient Babylonians and their great prosperity have been well documented by scholars. They are also known for creating one of the seven wonders of the world, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Through their understanding and application of the laws of universe, they became one of the wealthiest races in history. Bob Proctor, why do you think that I 
1% of the population earns around 96% of all the money that's being earned. Do you think that's an accident? It's designed that way. They understand something. They understand the secret. And now you are being introduced to the secret. People who have drawn wealth into their lives use the secret, whether consciously or unconsciously. They think thoughts of abundance and wealth, and they do not allow any contradictory thoughts to take roots, root in their minds. Their predominant thoughts are of wealth. They only know wealth and nothing else exists in their minds, whether they are aware of it or not. Their predominant thoughts of wealth are what brought wealth to them. It is the law of attraction in action. A perfect example to demonstrate the secret and the law of attraction in action is this. You may know of people who acquired massive wealth, lost it all, and within a short time acquired massive wealth again. What happened in these cases? Whether they knew it or not, is that their dominant thoughts were on wealth. That is how they acquired it in the first. Next page, sir. In the first instance. Then they allowed fearful thoughts of losing the wealth to enter their minds until those fearful thoughts of loss became their dominant thoughts. They tipped the scales from thinking thoughts of wealth to thinking thoughts of loss and, and so they lost it all. Once they had lost it, however, the fear of loss disappeared and they tipped the scales back with dominant thoughts of wealth and wealth returned. The law responds to your thoughts, no matter what they may be. Next page, sir. Like attracts like, John Asaroff. The simplest way for me to look at the law of attraction is if I think of myself as a magnet and I know that a magnet will attract to it. You are the most powerful magnet in the universe. You contain a magnetic power within you that is more powerful than anything in this world. And this Unfathomable magnetic power is emitted through your thoughts. Bob Doyle, author and law of attraction specialist. Basically put, the law of attraction says that like attracts like, but we, we were really talking at a level of thought. The law of attraction says like attracts like. And so as you think a thought, you are also attracting like thoughts to you. Here are more examples you may have experienced of the law of attraction in your life. Have you ever started to think about something you were not happy about? And the more you thought about it, the worse it seemed. That's because as you think one sustained thought, the law of attraction immediately brings more like thoughts to you. In a matter of minutes, you have gotten so many like unhappy thoughts coming to you that the situation seems to be getting worse. The more you think about it, the more upset you get. You may have experience attracting like thoughts when you listen to a song and then found that you couldn't get the that song out of your head. The song just kept playing over and over in your mind. When you listen to the to that song, even though you may not have realized it, you gave your full attention and focus of thought to it. As you did that, you were powerfully attracting more like thoughts of that song. And so the law of attraction moved into action and delivered more thoughts of that song 
over and over again. John Asarov, our job as humans is to hold on the thoughts of what we want. Make it absolutely clear in your minds what we want. And from that, we start to e evoke, invoke one of the greatest laws in the universe. And that's the law of attraction. You become what you think about most. But you also attract what you think about most. Your life right now is a reflection of your past thoughts. That includes all the great things and all the things you consider not so great. Since you attract to you what you think about. Next question. Sir. Since you attract to you what you think about most, it is easy to see what your dominant thoughts have been on every subject of your life because that is what you have experienced until now. Now you are learning the secret and with this knowledge you can change everything. Next, Rob Proctor, if you see it in your mind, you are going to hold it in your hand. If you can think about what you want in your mind and make that your dominant thought, you will bring it into your life. Mike Dooley, author and international speaker. And that principle can be summed up in three simple words. Thoughts become things. Through this most powerful law, your thoughts become the things in your life. Your thoughts become things. Say this over to yourself and let it seep into your consciousness and your awareness. Your thoughts become things. John Asarov, what most people do not understand is that a thought has a frequency. We can measure a thought. And so if you are thinking that thought over and over and over again, if you are imagining in your mind having that brand new car, having the money that you need, building that company, finding your soulmate, if you are imagining what that looks like, you are emitting that frequency on a consistent basis. Dr. Zoe Vital, thoughts are sending out the, that magnetic signal that is drawing the parallel back to you. The predominant thought or the mental attitude is the magnet. And the law is that like attracts like. Consequently, the mental attitude will invariably attract such conditions as corresponds to its nature. Charles Hanel. Thoughts are magnetic and thoughts have a frequency. As you think, those thoughts are sent out into the universe and they magnetically attract all like things that are on the same frequency. Everything sent out returns to the source and that source is you. Think of it this way. We understand that a television station's transmission tower broadcast higher frequency which is transformed into pictures on your television. Most of us don't really understand how it works, but we know that each channel has a frequency. And when we tune into that frequency, we see the pictures on our television. We choose the frequency by selecting the channel and we then receive the pictures broadcast on, on the channel. If we want to see different pictures on our television, we change the channel and tune into a new frequency. You are a human transmission tower and you are more powerful than any television tower created on earth. You are the most powerful transmission tower in the universe. Your transmission creates your life and it creates the world. The frequency you transmit reaches beyond cities. 
beyond countries, beyond the world. It reverb reverb reverberates. Reverberates. Yeah. Yes, sir. Throughout the entire universe, and you are transmitting that frequency with your thoughts. The pictures you receive from the transmission of your thoughts are not on a television screen in your living room. They are the pictures of your life. Your thoughts create the frequency. They attract like things in the frequency and then they are broadcast back to you as your life pictures. If you want to change anything in your life, change the channel and change the frequency by changing your thoughts. The vibrations of mental forces are the finest and consequently the most powerful in existence. Charles Hennel. Bob Proctor. See yourself living in abundance and you will attract it. It works every time with every person. As you think of yourself living in abundance, you are powerfully and consciously determining your life through the law of attraction. It's that easy. But then the most obvious question becomes, why is not every everybody living the life of their dreams? Attract the good instead of the bad. John Asara. Here is the problem. Most people are thinking about what they don't want and they are wondering why it shows up over and over again. The only reason why people do not have what they want is because they are thinking more about what they don't want than what they do want. Listen to your thoughts and listen to the words you are saying. The law is absolute and there are no mistakes. An epidemic worse than any plague that humankind has ever seen has been ragging for centuries. It is the don't want epidemic. People keep this epidemic alive when they predominantly think, speak, act, and focus on what they don't want. But this is the generation that will change history because we are receiving the knowledge that can free us of this epidemic. It begins with you and you can become a pioneer of this new thought movement by simply thinking and speaking about what you want. Bob Dewey. The law of attraction doesn't care whether you perceive something to be good or bad or whether you don't want it or whether you do want it. It's responding to your thoughts. So if you are looking at a mountain of debt, feeling terrible about it, that's the single signal you are putting out into the universe. I feel really bad because of, because of all this debt I have got. You are just affirming it to yourself. You feel it on every level of your being. That's what you are going to get more of. The law of attraction is a law of nature. It is impersonal and it doesn't see good things or bad things. It is receiving your thoughts and reflecting back to you those thoughts as your life experienced. Sir, one line was there. The law of attraction simply gives you whatever it it is you are thinking about. Lisa Nichols, author and personal empowerment advocate. The law of attraction is really obedient. When you think of the things that you want and you focus on them with all of your intention, then the law of attraction will give you exactly what you want every time. When you focus on the things that you don't want, I don't want to be late. I don't want to be late. The law of attraction doesn't hear that you don't want it. It manifests the things 
that you are thinking of and so it's going to so up over and over and over again. The law of attraction is not biased to ones or don't ones. When you focus on something, no matter what it happens to be, you really are calling that into existence. When you focus your thoughts on something you want and you hold that focus, you are in that moment summoning what you want with the mightiest power in the universe. The law of attraction doesn't compute. Don't or not or no or any other words of negation. As you speak words of negation, this is what the law of attraction is receiving. I don't want to spill something on this outfit. I want to spill something on this outfit. And I want to spill more things. I don't want a bad haircut. I want bad haircuts. I don't want to be delayed. I want delays. I don't want that person to be rude to me. I want that person and people more to be rude to me. I don't want the restaurant to give away our table. I want restaurants to give away our tables. I don't want these shoes to hurt. I don't, I want shoes to hurt. I can't handle all this work. I want more work than I can handle. I don't want to Basically, get... when we present everything in a negative manner, it becomes negative. Yes. Sir. The universe gets a negative message. So, Basically, we just, we attract whatever we think. And as we, so if we attract, think positive, we speak positive sentences, then the positive happens. Yes. I, I don't we want I don't want to catch the flu. I want the flu when I want to catch more things. I don't want to argue. I want more arguing. Don't speak to me like that. I want you to speak to me like that and I want other people to speak to me like that. The law of attraction is giving you what you are thinking about, period. Bob Proctor. The law of attraction is always working, whether you believe it or understand it or not. The law of attraction is the law of creation. Quantum physicists tell as the entire universe emerged from thought. You create your life through your thoughts and the law of attraction and every single person does the same. It doesn't just work if you know about it. It has always been working in your life and every other person's life throughout history. When you become aware of this great law, then you become aware of how incredibly powerful you are. Next please, sir. To be able to think your life into existence. Lisa Nichols. It's working as much as you are thinking. Anytime your thoughts are flowing, the law of attraction is working. When you are thinking about the past, the law of attraction is working. When you are thinking about the present or the future, the law of attraction is working. It's an ongoing process. You don't press pause. You don't press stop. It is forever in action as your thoughts are. Whether we realize it or not, we are thinking most of the time. If you are speaking or listening to someone, you are thinking. If you are reading the newspaper or watching television, you are thinking. When you recall memories from the, your past, you are thinking. When you are considering something in your life, in your future, you are thinking. When you are driving, you are thinking. When you are getting ready in the morning, you are thinking. For many of us, 
the only time we are not thinking is when we are sleep asleep. However, the forces of attraction are still operating on our last thoughts as we fall asleep. Make your last thoughts before going to sleep good thoughts. Yes, we can end it end today's session here. And in fact, this book has got so many excerpts from the secret also. Uh, so we can have a few. We can close our eyes and listen to the flute music.
So thank you, thank you, thank you. Existence, it's a new day. It's a fantastic day. And may you have all the magnificent outcomes during the coming year. Right? Your oh, the, the, uh, make a list for all the things you want to do in 2024. Burn your past. It's over, whatever it is. And you are moving forwards. In your mind's eye, write on a piece of paper, my, 2000, my past, burn it, and then start with a new 2024. Write the list and visualize that you have already achieved whatever you wanted to achieve. We are coordinating that India becomes the world's best medical education and health system. And we can visualize that it is already there. We are grateful to existence that the Expenditure on healthcare is increasing. The number of medical colleges is increasing. Awareness in health is increasing. A lot of activities are taking place under the National Medical Commission. And we are on our way towards our national goal of making it the best in the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are all part of the same energy and we will achieve it. Thank you. So, I end it here. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Dr. Sharda, Dr. Santosh, Dr. Vishnu Ram, Manas, Ipshika, Dr. Chitra, Shivangi, Gitali. Thank you, thank you, thank you.